to the Hughes Optioneering Weekly Workshop, where we scientifically engineer trades for greater profit potential. This is the disclaimer slide. You can pause to read it. We're going to move on. Today, we're going to look at AMD, or Advanced Micro Devices, Inc. AMD is one of the largest semiconductor companies in the world. Here's the barchart.com technical opinion rating for AMD. The bar chart rating is a 72% buy with a strengthening short-term outlook on maintaining the current direction. Long-term indicators fully support a continuation of the trend. The market is approaching overbought territory. Be watchful of a trend reversal. According to Prime Trade Select rules, a stock is in a bull trend on a monthly basis if the stock price is above the 10-period or 10-month simple moving average. The monthly chart shows that AMD is above the moving average line, so the monthly trend in AMD is up. Now we're going to look at the daily chart. A stock is in a bull trend on a daily basis if the 50-period or 50-day exponential moving average is above the 100-day exponential moving average. The blue line is the 50-day EMA line, and the green line is the 100-day EMA line. The blue line crossed back above the green line this month, so the daily trend is up. Whoops. Sorry about that. Next, we're going to look at a daily chart that displays the Keltner channel. As a rule, we don't want to buy calls if the stock price is above the upper Keltner channel line. Anywhere inside the Keltner channel or even below the Keltner channel is fine. AMD is below the upper Keltner channel line, so AMD is inside the buy zone. Since the trend is up, we want to buy a call. AMD has plenty of option chains to choose from. We're going to use the January 19 option chain. Right now, the Jan 19 options have 54 days to expiration. Here's part of the AMD option chain for Jan 19. AMD closed at 122.31 on Friday. That means any calls on the list from 75 to 120 are in the money. Let's take a look at the potential, profit potential for purchasing the 120 strike call, which is the closest strike to the current price of the stock. The bid ask spread for the 120 call is 870 to 880. We tried to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 875 as the buy price. Our call option calculator shows the profit potential for this call based on AMD price changes at option expiration from flat to a 12.5% increase in price. We can see that if the AMD stock price is flat at 122.31 at option ex expiration, the 120 call will lose 73.6% of its value. Ouch! This is an unacceptable risk. That kind of loss can wipe out a trading account in a hurry. We developed what we call the 1% rule to help us avoid this kind of risk. The 1% rule says to limit the time value portion of the option we buy to 1% of the stock price. That means the stock only has to move up 1% for the call option we purchase to break even and start profiting. Now let's take a look at buying the 105 strike call to see if it qualifies for the 1% rule. Here's the call option calculator picture for the 105 call. According to the 1% rule, we want the call to at least break even if the stock price is up 1%. The calculator picture shows that if the AMD stock price is up 1%, the 105 call will lose 5.2% of its value. We want that to be break even or better, so the 105 call does not meet our requirements. Let's see if the 90 call will work. The bid ask spread for the 90 call is 3320 to 3350. We try to enter at the midpoint, so we'll use 33.35 as the buy price. The 90 call works. If the AMD stock price is up 1%, the 90 call will make a 0.5% or $18 profit. That's better than break even, so the 90 call is the one we'll buy. The call option purchase calculator also shows that if the AMD stock price increases by 2.5%, the 90 call will make an eight, a 6.1% or $202 profit. If the AMD stock price increases by 5%, the 90 call will make a 15.2% or $508 profit. If the AMD stock price increases by 7.5%, the 
the 90 call will make a 24.4% or $813 profit. The 10% and 12.5% numbers are also displayed. You can see that the profits get better and better. And notice that if the AMD stock price does not make the expected move up and it remains flat at expiration, the 90 call would only lose minus 3.1% or minus $104 compared to the minus 73.6% or minus $644 loss for the 120 strike call that we looked at earlier. Now we want to review a call option debit spread, aka a vertical call spread. For this spread, we want to buy to open the AMD Jan 19 105 strike call and sell to open the AMD Jan 19 115 strike call. We're going to base our entry prices on the midpoint between the bid and ask prices. That means we'll buy the 105 call for 1955 and sell the 115 call for 1185. So the entry price or debit cost for the spread is $770. The call option spread analysis calculator picture shows that the spread will make a 29.9% or $230 profit if the AMD stock price declines by 5%, remains flat, or increases in price when the options expire. If AMD is down 7.5% at expiration, the trade will make 5.7% or $44. Creating the debit spread will allow us to collect an eight, $1,185 cash credit to our brokerage account for the sale of the 115 call. As we said on the previous slide, this reduces the cost of entering the spread to $770. Here's a note regarding earnings reports. The next AMD earnings report is scheduled for January 30th. Let's review the trades one more time. The first trade was a call purchase. It said to buy to open the AMD January 19, 90 strike call for $33.35. We also reviewed the spread. The spread said to buy to open the AMD Jan 19, 105 strike call and sell to open the AMD Jan 19, 115 strike call at a debit of $770. That's it for this week's Optionary Workshop. Thank you for joining us. We look forward to seeing you again next week.